Hey fragrance fans, now as you can see in front of you, I've got quite a collection of Creed fragrances. However, I wanted to give you my top four fragrances to, that I think are a must have um, by the House of Creed, uh, with the exception of this one right here. Um, so I'll be back with my other top four in just a second. I decided to take the day off today. Um, I had a little bit of a kitchen project. I've respraying my kitchen cabinets today, so I decided to take the day off of work. And I thought I'd also slip in there another little video as well. Um, so I decided to do, as I've got quite a big collection of Creed, um, not just samples. Um, so I thought what I'd do is do my top four Creed must-haves, um, with obviously the exception of this one. So let's put Ventus to one side. And let's carry on with my um, with the rest of my top five when it comes to Creed. Now, as I said, I have been doing some painting today. Now you may notice under my eye, I've got a little bit of white paint. It's so sore now that I cannot rub off anymore. I've also got it covered all over my arms as well. Um, but I didn't want to stop that from uh, me doing a video. So right, here we go. So I would say in, well, taking out, so let's start with top, uh, start with number four. My number four going into these. Um, I've not actually thought this through, so I'm just gonna go with it as I'm thinking about it. So I would have to say, um, in number four spot, I would say this one. Oh, yes, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Millicent Imperial. Um, now the reason I go for this one, I'd say this is more of an, definitely more of an evening fragrance rather than a daytime fragrance, especially for me here in Grand Cayman. Um, one of the first things that I thought of when I smelled this, I don't know whether any of you had the same, um, the same reaction to this one, um, especially if you used to wear Paco Rabanne XS. Now remember the original XS did used to smell like this. Um, now this was one of the first reactions I had when I first smelled this fragrance. Um, cause I mean, when I came to, when I started discovering Creed, it was when I, I mean, it was the first sort of real niche house that I discovered. Obviously it's quite a big and well-known collection as well. Um, probably going more people know Aventus more than any other, any other fragrance they make really. Um, but yeah, I mean, when I came into Creed, I was coming right off the back of designer fragrances. I had a lot of designer fragrances from about the age of 15. So I've been into fragrances for over 25 years now. Um, but yeah, I mean, one of the ones that I used to wear in my younger days was Paco Rabanne XS, which is why this one took me back to that. Um, this one I do find, I've, I've heard some people complain about the longevity of this one. However, I find this one's got pretty good longevity on me. Um, it's also got not the biggest projection, um, but I still find there is some projection. My wife does actually really, really love this one as well. Um, so, it's, so let's go number four. Um, is Millicent Imperial. So let's that, put that to one side. Now getting into the top three. Now I'd have to say number three for me would have to be this one here, uh, the Cree Viking. Obviously their newest fragrance. I absolutely adore this one. Just the um, just the uniqueness. The, sorry, the uniqueness of this one. Um, I fell in love with this the second that I the second I got it near my nose. I, as I said in my video, my review of this one, um, I was lucky enough to get the very first bottle in the Caribbean. Um, I'm lucky enough to work for a Creed retailer, which is why I do have quite a collection of them. We also sell Amouage, uh, Bond Number no. 9, and also Aqua de Palma as well. Um, however, as you know, most of my loves are for niche brands well outside and stuff that I can't get on my tiny little island here. So I s pretty much scour the whole world for them. Um, but when I received this, um, it was so hyped up, I was so looking forward to it, and I wasn't disappointed. I really think this does give Aventus a run for its money. Um, it doesn't have that same massive projection, but it's a lot more unique. It's not as high streety. What I mean is it's not like a, it doesn't smell like any sort of designer fragrance out there. It's got the beautiful citrus notes and that little fiery kick um, with those woody notes as well. But for me, this has definitely got to be in my top three. Okay, so moving on. Number two for me would have to be Royal Oud right here. Um, again, this is another fragrance I fell in love with the second I smelled it. This just smells, I mean, this is definitely one of the best Ouds out there, in my opinion. Um, as you can see, I've had this one for quite a while. It's in the old 120ml bottle. 
um, which unfortunately I don't make anymore. Um, and as you can tell, um, I mean, I, <sighs> Royal Lood is def, I mean, it's up there with the most expensive fragrances that Creed do. Um, I mean, this one you're looking at around, I believe it's somewhere around sort of another $70 on top of what the other ones are. In my opinion, it's well worth it. I absolutely love this for an oud. It's got so much, it's got so much, um, it's, it's quite hard to explain. It's got so much depth to it. Um, I love the way this smells. My wife loves oud and she absolutely goes crazy when I wear this one as well. Um, for me though, this one, it does smell absolutely every single penny of what it's worth. Um, whatever you pay for this fragrance, it's, it's worth it. That's what you're gonna get with this. You've got the power with it as well. You've got the longevity with Royal Oud. Um, this one as well, I find that I can wear during the day, even on hot days, and it, it's really not, um, it really doesn't bother me. It's not like a sort of too warm a scent. I mean, it's, it's one now that I've got a much wider collection of fragrances, I do tend to save it more for the evenings or for a special occasion. Because um, like I say, it is, a, it is a very expensive fragrance. But um, as you can see, I do wear it fairly often. Um, so my number two would have to be Royal Oud. Okay, so my number one, I'm sure many of you can guess what my number one's gonna be because it has to be up there. Um, and that's gonna be this one right here. Uh, I rank this my number two in office fragrances or uh, boardroom fragrances. This has got to be my number one though when it comes to Creed. I absolutely love this. This is my f uh, my first Creed signature scent or my first niche signature scent. Uh, my wife still knows me for this scent as well. Um, bizarrely, uh, I have not worn it in quite a while. Um, I don't wear it as, you as often as I, as I used to. I used to wear it pretty much every day. However, my seatbelt, I can still smell this on. When I get in my car, I can still smell this. This is a very, very long lasting fragrance. It's such a beautiful, fresh fragrance. So it's perfect for me in the Caribbean here. It's perfect for hot days. It's perfect for the office. This is perfect for absolutely any occasion, any dressy occasion. But like I say, it's, it's nice and casual. It smells good if you're wearing jeans and a white t-shirt. It smells great if you're wearing a business suit as well. So my number one from Creed is definitely this one. Now amongst the, my top four, uh, sorry, amongst my top five, I would have to put Creed Aventus, I would probably say number five. I don't see that it's got a unique smell anymore. It's a beautiful fragrance, but everybody wears it now. There's so many people, that, every, I mean, it's, it's come to the point where people are comparing batches of it. You don't expect every batch to smell the same. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a millicene fragrance, so they're not picking the best crops. Um, when it comes to, I mean, when it comes to all these fragrances, all these higher end fragrances, because they're picking natural oils, they're going out there and picking natural ingredients. So you're never gonna get the same, um, the same scent that you are sort of year on year. With designer fragrances, that's the thing because they're making the synthetic, um, they're making synthetic oils, synthetic ingredients. So it's much more easier for them to, to balance them and get them to smell the same as they did year on year. Um, but when it comes to these natural fragrances and these higher end fragrances, because of the natural ingredients, it's very hard to keep them smelling exactly the same. So that's my feelings on the house of Creed. Um, as you can tell, I'm a big lover of this house um, and it is one of the better known uh, sorry, niche fragrance companies out there. I mean, the one thing I love about Creed is you get what you pay for. You do get the quality, you do get the power, you do get the lasting um, with these ones. Um, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of uh, most of the line that they do. Um, however, I'm sort of coming away from them now as I find more and more niche fragrances. I'm big into the House of Killian now. Um, and as you can see, I'm getting much more um, variation in my collections. I'm going out there and testing a lot more. So like the Imaginary Authors, the Fort Manly. I'm really open to sort of any suggestions that any of you guys have as well. If you discovered a niche that's one of your favorites, uh, one of those niche brands, a smaller niche brand, definitely let me know because I'm trying to check out as many and I want to review as many and give as honest opinion as I can on all the fragrances that I can. Okay, so thank you very, very much for watching. Um, don't forget, please like, comment and subscribe right below here, um, right below my video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Um, I always love hearing your comments and I want to know what your favorites or what your top fives would be So please like please leave those in the comments right below. 
I look forward to seeing you in my very next video. Obviously, again, don't forget to press the bell, um, the, to click on the bell down there, so you know whenever I've got a new video coming out. Okay, and obviously on Instagram, I always post everything that I'm gonna be reviewing or whatever my scent of the day is gonna be. So please follow me on there, and I look forward to seeing you in my very next video very, very soon.